Hi guys, how are you doing? Please allow me to introduce you to my brand new guitar. This is a 2020 Jackson DK2. This is in ash with green glow graphics. And as you can see, it definitely glows. Oh, it smells beautiful. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> This is not a guitar that has been sent to me for review. This is a guitar that I have ordered myself for my own personal use. I've been waiting to get a DK2 Pro for quite a long time because I really like the Mexican factory quite a lot. Unknown to me when I ordered this guitar, Jackson had started making these in a Korean factory. I'll just show you. You can see they're crafted in Korea. The Mexican factory is really, really well known for fantastic fret work and fantastic necks, rolling off the frets and polishing. Another thing that I was made aware of before this guitar actually arrived is that the logo on this guitar is not actually painted or printed on. It's like an embossed logo that is actually screwed on to the guitar, like what you'd kind of have on an amp. When this guitar arrived and I opened it, as soon as I pulled the guitar out of the box, the first thing I saw was that logo and I looked at it and I actually thought, I like that. It actually looks really good. It's quite classic and more than anything, it makes the guitar feel like you've got something a bit special that is a bit different from all the other Jacksons and it definitely is. I've always said that if you're gonna bond with a guitar <clears throat> and if you're gonna feel like the guitar fits like a glove and you're gonna get on really well with it, you will know as soon as you pick it up. First thing I noticed about the neck was that although this is a Jackson Speed neck, this neck feels thinner, flatter. Don't know whether it is or whether it's just like an illusion. The, <laughs> the finish on the back of the neck is absolutely amazing. I am actually that impressed. I can honestly say hands down that this is the best built guitar and finished guitar that I have actually ever owned. The frets are super, super polished. When you're bending the strings, they really just fly up there. <laughs> The fingerboard also seems a bit flatter to me. As with all Pro Series dinkies, you get the thumb wheel there. I don't know if you can see it right there. So you can adjust the thumb wheel kind of on the fly. You put your Allen wrench in, or there is a little tool that they send you with it that you put in and you can just adjust it rather than trying to fight to get to the truss rod up there, which you do with a lot of guitars. Yeah, there's a nice cutaway there, which you can't really see, which does actually help you reach up high. I don't know if you can see the body on this guitar clearly enough, but it's actually sandblasted. It's an ash body and it's sandblasted to such an extent that the, the grooves on the guitar are actually quite deep. You can get your fingers in there. And then what they've done is they've put these green glow as they call them, graphics in there, which is super bright and, and awesome. fan of the dinky body anyway obviously it's one of the comfiest double cut bodies that there is for me personally this is quite a severe i don't know what you call that bit there that tapers off i really think that that feels nice let's talk about the specs of the guitar so you get a floyd rose 1000 series here 
which are basically career-made Floyd Roses. You get a JB and a 59 pickup. Now, I'm a big fan of the JBs. I didn't used to be. I used to prefer the distortions, but since I started using EVH amps a lot, I've become a, a more of a fan of the JB because, in my opinion, it's a really good match. The selector switch here is actually a five-way, which I was pretty surprised about. I thought it would be a three, but it's actually a five-way selector. I just love the smell of new guitars. So there you have it. This is a new guitar for me. So please don't forget if you like the content on my channel, subscribe and click the bell. Put something in the comments what you think about this uh, crazy guitar that I've just bought. And just before I leave you all, I'm reaching my 5,000 friend limit and I like to talk to you guys. So I've started a group on Facebook and what's unique about that group is not only can I talk to you and post links to my YouTube and pictures of all the things that I'm doing, I can also see what you're doing because you will be able to go in the group and post your videos, your links and all that stuff. Just put stuff about you playing the guitar, your YouTube channel if you, if you want, pictures of all your gear. Talk, be friendly, be nice and I'll see you soon. Gorgeous green glow. Green glow.